My whole life, I, I always wanted to be that guy that, you know, when I thought about what I wanted to do in the Army, I, I thought about charging the machine gun nest and being John Wayne and doing the things that the movies are all about. My name is uh, David Bellavia. I served in the uh, United States Army Infantry for six years and um, served in uh, Kosovo and Iraq. It was the night of November 10th, 2004. It happened to be my uh, 29th birthday. We got pinned down in the house. We were looking for uh, six to eight guys in, in a city block, and my whole platoon moved into a house, and these guys suckered us in, and they unloaded uh, belt-fed machine guns, point-blank range. I was the only guy in the situation that, that could actually, you know, do something. It was a, a, a horrible moment in my life, but it was also something that um, I realized that there was, there was no going home at that point. Either I was going to lose my life or I was going to lose my soul. What we were prepared for was fighting against a fanatical enemy and we knew that, that the fight was going to be tough. What we didn't expect was the up close, face to face, potentially hand to hand nature of the fight. The pressure is immense um, and you're frightened, you're scared. You see these guys, they're intimidating you and then at one point you just have to back off and realize, wait a minute. Everything I've lived my life up to this point has been about, you know, we're better than them. To fear death is, is kind of a waste of time. I was, I was concerned about losing others because at some point you're accountable for their lives. I'd never wanted to be the guy that had to explain to a family member, here's a folded flag, your son or daughter is dead, but I'm okay. The guilt uh, eats away at me that these, these kids are going back for their third and fourth time and I'm sitting here uh, out of harm's way I do see that um, my, my job here is to be a, a dad and a husband, but I gotta be honest with you, I, I'd be lying if I said that my soldiering days are over. I, I, um, if, if I was called upon again, uh, I wouldn't hesitate. 